Hey YouTube, this is Dark Styles here. I know some of you have been uh, sending me messages waiting for, oh, when are you going to do the Wii tutorial, the, the second step to the Wii tutorial? Well, like I said in my last video, I'm not going to have my Wii until the 29th, which is nine days from today, so to hold you guys over, I'm going to teach you guys how to use your PS3 controller and play emulators with it on your laptop or computer or whatever. Now, if you look in the description, you'll see that there's a file there you can download. Download that and it will be the three files you need. I know my camera isn't clear, so just bear with it. Now when you get the file, or that folder, you extract it, and you come up with these three folders. Okay. One is libusb0.dll. The other one is libusb install. The other one is PS3 6 axis. So first, I want you need to copy, because some people have trouble with it, Copy the .dll file right here. Copy and go to your system 32, which I'm sure all of you know how to get to. System 32. Yeah, I know my camera skills isn't that great, but deal with it because I don't have that good of a camera. Um, basically, copy that file, that DLL, and you paste it in your System32 just to make sure it fully works. Don't cut it and put it there, just copy it in there. Next, you need to install the libUSB. Now you'll come up with that old version, yeah. I get that warning that says I have an older version. If I want to update it, well, I'm going to hit no or just cancel out, mainly because I already have it installed. So I'm just going to hit X, cancel that out. So I already have it installed. Now, right here, the PS3 6 axis, don't click on that one yet. After you finish installing, this is what you need to do. Take the PS3 controller and the connector. Put the connector in your USB drive. And then plug in PS3 controller. And go in. Okay. And now the tricky part. You'll see that, you know, the lights are on. Now, one warning I have to give you, do not have your PS3 plugged in. Because if that happens, it won't work on your laptop. Well, just turn on your PS3 and control your PS3. So I suggest you turn off your PS3 before you do this, or unplug the power cord on it. That way it won't turn on your PS3. Now, back to the laptop. Double click on the PS3 6 axis, and really quickly you'll see your command prop flash and go away. That means that it recognized it and it turned it on. Sometimes it takes a couple tries. After that, hit the power button on your PS3 controller. Even though it was already flashing, you still need to hit that right after. Now on proof that it works, I'm going to go into where my PS1 emulator is. This works on PS1 emulators, it works on Nintendo 64 emulator, um, it even works on the NES emulator. I'm not sure if it works on the DS emulator. Partly because I haven't tried it for reasons that, you know, there's a touch screen part that you use the mouse for, so never found a reason to use that. So, 
let me open up my PS3 emulator. Not my emulator, but my PS1 emulator, sorry. And that's my emulator. Now when you go in, hit config and hit gamepad pad one. And basically you click on whatever button and you use your controller to map out your button map on here. For those of you that have a PS1 emulator, you know how to use the how to config the controller, so I'm not gonna go through how to config the controller. Um so let me hit OK on here. And I'll start an emulator. Let me see. I have quite a few games. I'll start with I think I'll start with One Piece. Grand Battle 2. Let me hit escape because I have a save thing on here. Save state. And I know it's kind of loud. There, I had to mute its volume because I know it's really loud. Now, as you can see here. I'm able to control the emulator with my PS3 controller. And I'm able to play. Now, some people ask, well, can you use the six axis to move around? No, you can't do that because the plugin and the install, none of these emulators will recognize the six axis um, part of their controller. You know, the mobility of the motion control on it. Basically, because none of these games were fitted for that. So. Sorry, that's not going to work. Um, further proof that it also works on the 64 emulator. Just to show you really quick. And then I'll the video will be finished. I will go to my Project 64 emulator. I'll go to let's see, open ROM. And I'll go to Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time because that's one of my favorite Zelda games ever. And changing the button map on here isn't that hard either. It's pretty easy. Same way you do with the PS1 emulator. If you guys need help on that, leave a bunch of comments. If I get enough requests, I'll do that tutorial. And as you can see here, I can control the 64 emulator with this. Very easy. So that's it for this tutorial. Um, this is basically one I came up with as drop of a hat, mainly to you know hold you guys over until I get my Wii and I do the second stage of the uh, homebrew tutorial. So um, this is Dark Styles and. Hope you guys like this tutorial. If you have a PS3 and you want to play emulators with your controller, this is how you do it. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Um, send me a message. I'll answer whatever questions. If you want to know where to get these emulators and ROMs and ISOs I got, yet again, send me a message. I'll point you in the right directions to good, safe links. So you can get it without worrying about viruses and all that other bullshit. Um, and that's basically it. So don't forget to subscribe and have fun gaming.